All right, welcome back. This is Operation Torchlight. This will be the Commonwealth and France turn. We are in July 1943. All right, so let's get started with a correction. Uh, so the veteran, when he did his turn, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, he walked into Hokkaido with two Marines, but... Uh, there was one U.S. militia there, so he actually needs to battle. Uh, so he said he would have brought in the two medium bombers to fly there and then back to where they were. So we do need to have a little battle. I think this is more of a formality than anything else because it should be pretty quick and sweet. Um, but it is should be done. All right, so we're going to take two green dice and... Uh, to be the medium bombers and the two black dice to be the two marines and we'll go ahead and roll that and sure enough he is dead but the infantry or the militia will fire back and gets a seven so as i said a formality that did not matter uh, we've I've already updated the income and everything it just wanted to make sure that the battle was done appropriately all right, uh, let's do tech rolls. So we got three tech rolls for the UK. We're going to go for long-range aircraft, uh, improved factories, and improved construction. So long-range aircraft, going a seven or higher to get to stage two. It's an eight, so we get to stage two for long-range aircraft. Uh, Improved factories for stage three need a seven or higher, but probably the one that I actually really want. And that is a hanger. It's either a one or a two. I'd say it's a two, so that's a fail. And we'll go improve construction seven or higher to get to stage one. And that's a three. That's a fail too. Uh, I wanted the improved factories. Oh well. All right. Let's do some purchases. So... Uh, the UK, they are going to spend 15 bucks on five infantry. They got four bucks on a militia and a militia upgrade. And then they've got 15 bucks for a Marine, a paratrooper. And I know this flight stand is empty. That is a, uh, air transport. Unfortunately, I ran out of air transport sculpts for the UK and, uh, yeah, I need, I, I'm going to chip it out when I make some moves on this turn anyways, so I'll move one over. The Far East Command, they don't even, they can't even spend all their money, uh, so they're going to bank three of it. They're going to spend 11 on uh, producing a medium bomber for the KMT, and then their other production at their factory is going to be an, an artillery, and then they'll place a militia and a militia upgrade, so that's eight total. And the Anzac doesn't even want to build anything for themselves anymore, so they're going to build a fighter for the U.S. and an artillery for the French. Uh, all right, so let's do some some battles. Uh, I think we only have three. Yeah, and they're all right here. So first, we're going to convoy with our British sub. We're going to stay in C Zone 88. It's a good spot. I like it. Uh, so we'll stay right there. And then we're going to try to take Java for the third time. So we got this uh, little fleet here off of Java. This transport is going to go 1 over to 122 and then back. And they're going to pick up, which I think you, yeah, you can see that fleet. And they'll pick up these two infantry out of Siam, go into Java, and they get the two battleships to bombard. So hopefully there's not even a battle. Uh, lastly is we're going to walk into southern Iran. Uh, so that one should be pretty easy to do. Um, so I realized I'm, I'm giving all of these places to the FEC, and I, I'm not sure if I have to or if I could have given it to the UK. Like this one I think I have to because it's closest the closest territory that owns it is FEC, but this one, I think when I did it, it was 1-2 from FEC, but it was also 1-2 from the UK, so I think I could have done it UK, but I didn't, and then all these islands over here, I think I could be doing those as UK as well, so I will do that with 
Java. I'm going to give it to UK instead of FEC. Anyways, uh, in there I'm walking. I've got two infantry from Maharashtra, three infantry from uh, Punjab, and then I will bring in an artillery and a mechanized as well. So we'll have a little party in South Iran. All right. Uh, that's it for that. That's it for that. So we just need to roll our convoy and our Java battle. So let's go ahead and do those. So our convoy, we get a plus two on the red die. They've already taken two damage, only three left. And it's even Steven, so nothing there. All right, so now I really want to get Java back for the third time, or for the third try. So let's try this, uh, two bombardments at four, and they both miss, awesome. Uh, so now we'll go in for the battle. So we've got uh, two infantry at two, and a militia at two defending. Uh, they all miss, eight, seven, 12. Let's try it again. Five, seven, eight. Let's try it again. 10, nine, 11. Oh my gosh, these are like my tech dice. Uh, three, well, I got them with a one and a 10. So uh, thankfully I can take that. Uh, as I said, I will give it to the UK because I think I'm allowed to do that since it's a Dutch colony, I can choose who to give it to. And I want them to have more money, not Far East Command, who can't even spend their money. So, uh, for Iran, we're going to take Germany from 32 to 30. And Far East Command has to take that one, I believe, from 20 to 22. For Java, we'll take Japan from 14 to 12. And the UK from 26 to 28. Okay. Come over here and let's look at. Oh no, I missed. I missed a combat. I forgot about these guys over here. And I see I have my little, my little combat thing right there. This is supposed to come up and go one, two, three, and attack the Solomon Islands, which has one militia with these two marines. So they get a bombardment from a light cruiser. So that's two or less. I knew I had more battles. This battle's done over there. Um, yeah, it's the last one. Uh, so, I, keep, I don't know why I forgot. Uh, all right, so let's do that um, quickly here as well. So a bombardment with the light cruiser at a two or less. No, light cruiser's one or less. Yeah, that's right. So light cruiser one or less. It's a two. I wish it was a two or less. Uh, now we got two infantry versus a militia, so it's all at two. Uh, five, five, eleven. Ten, eleven, five. Eight, eleven, four. This could be fun for a little while. Five, three, seven. Two and a seven. So we take that one, take Solomon back. Um, that one already was belonging to the UK, but it's not worth any money. Just no more bonuses for those dirty, dirty uh, Japanese. All right, now I can go over and actually do my movements. My apologies for that. All right, so we have those there. And the Solomons. All right, so we are going to make some moves. First off is the uh, the Marine. Will, he can stay there. It's fine. Um, but this uh, Gurkha is going to move back to Burma. These two infantry that are in Quang Tung are going to move into Yunnan. Uh, 
want this uh, air transport is going to go one two pick up this paratrooper I guess that's what I could have spent money on is I could have put a uh, militia there that's all right um, so one two actually I need to I forgot about those Germans there um, so instead of saving their three bucks they'll only save one and they'll put a militia I forgot about that guy there uh, where did it go one two he can go seven total Sorry, just thinking about this. From there, so one, two. I can't go over Russia. I can go over the Germans though. Three, four, five, six, seven. He's gonna land in northern Algeria, which you probably can't see that, but that's okay. You couldn't see any of that. Look at that. Alright, so. Yeah, from Maharashtra, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, what else in the Pacific? I think that's it. <sighs> Let's go over here to Europe. I do have some movement movements to make in Europe. Let's move it like that so you can see better. Not like that, like that. All right, sorry. Uh, so we're going to take uh, this air transport that's in Alsace-Lorraine plus the uh, airborne that's in southern France. We're going to make a new thing for Paris because they're going to take that airborne plus the two air the two airborne and two air transports out of London. So that's so that's three airport air transports and three airborne that are all going to be into Paris. that get those off the board and I can reuse that air transport sculpt all right then I'm gonna take these five fighters that are in Aquitaine and they are gonna move into Paris plus this uh, tactical bomber will move there as well so you got the US fighter there, plus you got these three militia, which we'll keep there like that. And that militia I'll keep on the map because I'm going to use them in a minute. Then you've got 10 infantry. I'm going to take five of them to southern France. The other five will stay there. But I'm going to walk the six, one, two, three, four, five, six, to join up with the those five that stayed there. So that's eleven infantry in Paris. All right. So Paris is getting strong. All right. Uh, then I will take. These other six fighters will stay there in the Midlands, but I will come uh, with these transports. I'll take three of them up here, grab these five infantry out of northern uh, England. I'm going to drop them in Picardy. Plus, we'll add the infantry that's in London as well. So, check that out. So, that's six infantry in London, or sorry, in Picardy. 
All right. We'll move that up to the north. All right. I think that is it for these movements. All right, let's uh, let's go towards place units. I think I'm just trying to go over in my head exactly what I want to do, but I think this is the right thing. All right, so place units. Uh, I got an air transport going into London. I've got another marine and a, a paratrooper going into London. So let me get it chipped those Marines. So I believe that's uh, five Marines in London and four in the Midlands. All right, uh, I got five infantry going into Northern England again. And then I've got a militia upgrade and a militia. So we're going to place the other militia in Cyprus and the militia upgrade we're going to go here in Eastern Egypt so I will just uh, oh, I'll just take a chip from under the militia and put it under the infantry so that makes uh, four infantry and three militia that are there now alright that's it for the UK Let's go over to the Far East Command. So they have uh, a medium bomber. They're going to deliver to. They'll deliver through the Burma Road to the KMT. So they've actually got. Um, yeah, they've got one there. This is a medium bomber. I guess this one's in Quang Tung. I thought it was. I thought it was in Yunnan, but I guess it's in Quang Tung. Uh, plus, we got. Uh, oh, shoot, I forgot to move these. Artillery and motorized are supposed to move 1 2 to Maharashtra, along with the fighter and the medium bomber moved to Maharashtra. Uh, but then I'm going to place the artillery down there in Calcutta. And we've got two militia and a militia upgrade. So we're going to place a militia in Azerbaijan. We're going to upgrade the infantry that's in Maharashtra. And the last militia... Yeah, well, maybe I was already accounting for that. So never mind. I take back what I said about buying another militia. I'll just save that three bucks, like I said. I guess I already had the militia there. Good. I didn't make any changes from what I originally said in the beginning. I just made things really confusing for everybody. That's all. Uh, and then I've got the Anzac. They've got a fighter and to deliver to the U.S. and a... Um, um, artillery to deliver to the French. The artillery will be delivered into, uh, sorry, it has to go into Normandy. Can't get into Paris. And the fighter actually will be delivered, I think, on the U.S. West Coast. Yeah, into San Fran. Okay. Added to the jet fighter and the heavy bomber that are there. Okay, so now we've got everything placed. It is time to collect income. So the UK is at 28. So uh, plus they have. Um, See, they do not have the Iran one because you still got Germans in uh, northern Iran. Uh, 
uh, so they have plus five, so that makes uh, 33. The Far East Command has 22, plus they get uh, an extra two for having their uh, bonus. So they end up with 24. Uh, but they saved three, so they'll end up with 27. Okay. And then the Anzac, they're at eight, but they get their plus two, so they end up with 10. We also have a wartime bonus roll. Let's see if I can get these organized so I can take that roll and not have things in the way. All right, to 2d6. And they get plus eight. Uh, so it will not be going to... Let's see, they get plus eight. It'll definitely not be going to the uh, Far East Command. I think what I'll do is I'll split four and four. I'll give... Uh, four to the Anzac, and we'll give four to um, the, uh, whatever it is, <laughs> uh, something's not right with this. So they collected 28 plus 5 is 33, plus 4 is 37, and in my hand I have only 27. Okay, that's messed up. 37. All right, uh, so now let's go to, oh, the French. They get to do their tech roll. All right, so they're definitely going for wartime economy. Currently on stage two, need a seven or higher. They get a 10. All right, stage three, here we go. Uh, so their purchases, and I completely messed this up. Ignore. I was for some reason I was thinking I was going to give money from the FEC to the to the um, French, but I can't. So uh, because I already gave the French uh, an artillery. Anyways, so I'm going to give the French. Uh, so the French they're going to buy with. Uh, 13 bucks. They're going to buy three infantry and an artillery in Paris. They're going to produce a uh, medium bomber for the KMT, which I'm, run I'm running out of Japanese, or not Japanese, uh, KMT roundels, so I just got a flipped upside down US one. That'll go up to the Burma Road into Yunnan, and then we're going to upgrade one infantry to a motorized for a buck. All right, so battles we have two all right so the french are going to walk one militia over and take alsace lorraine from the germans so they get their last territory back and that's worth three since alsace lorraine is empty so they go from um, 15 to 18, and the Germans go from 30 to 27. Okay. Second battle is over here in Iraq. So they're gonna take in, what do they got? One, two, three, four infantry, and a fighter here from Syria, plus they'll take their truck from Transjordan. Going up against this lone German infantry. So let's go ahead and roll that. It is desert terrain, so if I remember right, the truck, if it rolls a certain something, it has to retreat. Just make sure I get it right. Oh yeah, this is the weird one that where desert is not in the quick reference sheet. I don't know why. Just an oversight maybe. But uh Tundra, terrain, deserts, combat. All attacking land units have combat. Units are subject to desert rules in the first round of combat when crossing a desert border. In all rounds of combat in a desert zone, 
All attacking land units have minus one attack. All attacking vehicle class units that roll a 12 in combat are forced to retreat. Represents the mechanical breakdown. Huh, I guess I forgot that it was minus one in the desert for attack. Anyways, uh, so here we are with... Uh, we're going to take black for our one, two, three, four infantry. So those attack at a one. Uh, we'll use yellow for our attacking truck, which attacks at a one as well. And if it rolls a 12, it has to retreat. And we'll take a red for the attacking fighter. Did one hit. And we get no hits. Take one of these uh, cream co cream colored ones for the them. Oh, they get a hit. Uh, the yellow wasn't a 12, was it? I don't think it was. So I lose an infantry. And we'll keep going. We'll press the attack. So I'll drop a black die and we'll just roll again. All together this time. Uh, <laughs> if it wasn't a 2, it would be fine. That's an 11, so it doesn't retreat. Nothing hits that time. So again. And still missed. Miss, 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 miss. Oh my gosh. My dice have just lots of misses today. Uh, still missed, miss, miss, everything missed. Dropping my dice. There we go. Fighter finally hit. He missed. Okay, so we finally take it with three infantry and one truck. So that's going to go to the French. It's worth two IPP. So the Germans will go from 27 to 25 and the French will go from 18 to 20. All right now we can do some non-combat moves. Maybe I should have taken in my air transport to that one. That's all right. All right so we're going to move one infantry over to northern Algeria from Morocco. We're going to take our air transport. Oh shoot, I know what I was going to do with the air transport, but now I, I forgot to do it, so that's all right. And we're going to go uh, one, two, three, four. They're going to go into London as well. Is that what we want? Yeah, that's what we want. Not London, sorry, Paris. So Paris is starting to get pretty full. Uh, we're also going to move the infantry and the artillery that are in Normandy, move those into London. Um, elsewhere, nothing else. Oh, you couldn't even see that stuff up there in London, or up Paris. There we go. Uh, elsewhere, nothing else. I think that's it for the French. So, let's go ahead and collect, or place units. So we're going to deliver the medium bomber via the Burma Road to Yunnan. Okay, we're going to upgrade that infantry that just moved into Paris to a truck, or motorized, whatever you want to call it. We're going to place uh, three infantry and an artillery into Paris, and we'll have to come up with something bigger and better for all of that, or maybe I just need to finally chip out all my aircraft. And their money is gone. Alright, so they are at 20 bucks. Um, they will get the 20, plus they'll get 2 for their bonus. They'll end the game, or end the turn with $22. And 
and that's it. All right, um, next up is going to be Italy. Sorry, this is already over, just over 30 minutes. Uh, good luck to Italy, and I believe that is it for me. If you have any questions about unit counts, about what's where, please let me know. Um, but just to note, the KMT, they do now have one of the biggest air forces in the game, other than maybe um, the UK. They have one, two, three, four medium bombers, a tactical bomber, two fighters, and an air transport. So I like the Lend Lease. It's pretty fun. But all right, that's it for now. Uh, good luck to uh, the veteran with Italy and uh, um, and the Fighting Irish with his commentary, folks. Cheers.